Today, we are reboxing Scythe's expansion Invaders from Afar here on Legendary Tactics. Now, I've owned Scythe since uh, 2016. Um, I got it at Gen Con, and I think it was pretty uh, pretty newly released at the time. I knew it was one of the, the hyped games of that, uh, of that Gen Con uh, convention. And you can see that this is the the expansion that rep that fills in the, the the base set. I like to think it it provides the two factions that were not there uh, in the base game. And uh, of course, there's lots of wooden bits and mechs. Who doesn't love the mechs? And we're going to take a look at it. I'm going to show you how to rebox this uh, this expansion. And uh, so that's uh, something that we like to do here on the channel. So we'll take a look at the uh, mats here. And uh, you can see they've got a couple new mats, uh, different, uh, you know, variations. Again, just a, a, a nice extra uh, amount of playability. Um, as usual, the art is stunning. Um, I loved, I've always loved the art to this game and everyone has always commented on it. And we've got two new factions. We have Clan Albion. And we have the uh, the, the uh, Togawa Shogunate. So, um, anyway, so this is um, the two factions that are in included in this. And you can see they've got lots of tokens. We're gonna uh, make sure that we put those away uh, carefully here. But we'll just put lay them out a little bit. My daughter's helping me uh, with the video today. And so uh, these are all the additional tokens that are required to uh, to to uh, play this uh, expansion and we'll but well, I, I like to store these uh, by putting them right back in the uh, in the frames that they come in uh, it just makes it so much easier when I break it out to play again later um, so the the two factions uh, that are added um, they um, I, I know that uh, the Togawas uh, have traps and uh, there's other neat things that the Albion can do but it's been it's been um, uh, a, a little while since I've played those factions and I haven't played them a lot so I'm looking forward to giving this a go uh, with these factions on a real life board you know good uh, four or five player game going uh, of side I think that'll be great there are some rules uh, and uh, some of the rules are about the automa so if you're playing solo with the new factions this is how to do it and uh, they also have the regular sort of rules for the um, for the different factions because they they do have some additional abilities that uh, needed a little bit of rules the rules are not that big i think it's about four pages or something um, there's also a couple of additional cards here and i haven't uh, investigated yet i think those are um, automa things but uh, i'll have to look into that lots of baggies with lots of wooden bits and uh, again the usual stonemeyer quality um, Everything is beautifully put together, as good as the rest of the, the game of Scythe. And uh, so we'll take all these wooden bits and kind of lay them out for you. And we like to store them again in the baggies that uh, come with the game. There's a, almost too many baggies. This is one instance where I felt that uh, there was actually extra bags in the uh, in the box, which I didn't need. So we'll just put these back in now. Make sure you don't eat the silica gel. I don't know who eats it, but they have to put a warning on it. So anyway, um, so we'll just put all these back in the bag. Um, so basically, the components are uh, all, everything you need for the additional two factions. Um, and uh, the, as I said, there's a few rules, a few little tokens, but other than that, um, the, the highlight of it, of course, is the, uh, the are the mechs and the leaders. And uh, let's take a closer look at those mechs um, as we put them away. Um, they are, I really like the uh, Togawa ones. They're really kind of nice uh, feel. The, the uh, uh, Albion mechs look a little more like artillery pieces they look pretty cool as well so uh, it's always good that uh, these mechs are always uh, unique to each faction and I think it just really improves the look of the game so we're gonna um, have a chance later to uh, show you how to uh, uh, play these on the, on the real board as I said I'm hoping to feature a, a game um, this is the Albion uh, leader and the Togawa leader both uh, of which are very well designed very nice minis um, and uh, with the usual sturdy plastic that you would expect and uh, we'll just put those away 
And uh, yeah, just another quick look at there at them uh, before we we put them back in the box. And uh, yeah, overall, it's a it's a very nice expansion. The box is perfect size to fit every all the components with a little bit of of breathing room. And I love the uh, the box art as well. Just a really nice uh, classic image from Scythe. You know, it's something that they uh, have really captured. And uh, you know, just again to keep the dust off uh, the game, I like to store it back in its original shrink wrap. I think that that uh, makes sure that it's um, always. Um, in perfect condition anytime I'm ready to play and uh, so we'll just do, all you need to do is just put it back on there and just press really hard uh, along the uh, the uh, edges there and it'll seal right back up and uh, as you can see I even have uh, some bubble wrap there uh, as I really uh, like to take care of my games I want to make sure that they are uh, properly protected and so I'll just uh, keep them in this cardboard uh, shipping box and uh, make sure that um, every, the game is properly wrapped and, and properly protected before we seal up the box and uh, get it ready for the next play. So hope you enjoyed this reboxing um, and uh, we'll have more content on this game. This is Legendary Tactics. <laughs>